When you think of Asia and horror, one of the first names that likely comes to mind is the works of Junji Ito. His imagery is some of the most recognizable and disturbing in the entire genre, and yet no one so far has been able to properly translate his works into any other medium. Tomie, Gyo, even the anime series, none of it really manages to capture the feel of a Junji Ito panel. That being said, one of his most iconic works is known as Uzumaki. Some of his best known art comes straight from this manga, and to the credit of the creators of this movie, they almost got it. So, Uzumaki, or Spiral as it's called in North America, is, well, it's hard to describe this thing. The closest comparison I could give you is if David Lynch directed a Japanese horror movie. It's not scary, and neither are Lynch's movies or shows really, but it's definitely... Uh, weird? Like, really weird? You won't be scared at any point in this movie, but what it does do to an extent is permeate the atmosphere with a sense of unease. It's got an almost dreamlike feel to it. For every moment of genuinely disturbing imagery, there's a really stupid or strange editing choice thrown in that gives it an almost Twin Peaks feel. Like, there are scenes thrown in here that serve no other purpose than to make you be like, bruh the fuck and that's about it so just like the manga a small town becomes cursed by a force that causes everyone in it to become obsessed with the spiral shape the first person to metaphorically bust the nut to a circle is actually actor ren asugi who most of you probably recognize from shin godzilla but i think some of my longtime viewers might remember this guy hey -ya, hey -ya, bye, hey -ya. I don't know what to say. Ren's just great at playing frick creep dudes. Hmm. Then the curse starts to spread, another dude starts turning into a snail. <laughs> that happens, girl's hair starts going nuts. It's also a really slow movie. Uzumaki moves at, no pun intended here, a snail's pace for a payoff that isn't really worth it. Some of the imagery in this is off-putting and disturbing for sure, but you're a hell of a lot better off just reading Junji Ito's manga instead. You'll get the same imagery but a lot more detailed and far more horrifying. Of all the live action attempts at a Junji Ito story, this one is probably the better one, but that's not really saying much. With that said, we are getting a anime retelling of Uzumaki next year that looks visually stunning and even keeps the manga's art style intact, even down to it being black and white. So I think if we're ever gonna have any chance at anyone getting Junji's stories right, it's gotta be that one.